Let's go explore the new Barnes and Noble. What? Show me what you got. Legos. August. A manga. And we got baby Gemma. Baby being six. Too many carrots for Easter. So I never got to do like a final impression of the new Barnes & Noble. I didn't buy myself anything because I'm cheap and all the books are like 25, almost 30 bucks. And I'm not a big rereader, so I just couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. So the kids were happy with their purchases. Um, I did have like a rewards thing, so that's good that they're still using the old rewards cards. The other Barnes & Noble that I'm used to is like 40 minutes away, and it's a two-story one. Very overwhelming. I was overwhelmed with this one also, but it was nicer to look at, more appealing to the eye. It has more of a boutique-type feel, like a higher-end look to it. Um... They do have a lot of signings. Rachel Harrison was there last weekend, and I was going to go, but I didn't end up going. Um, and I'm going to keep an eye on the other author signings in the future. It's a nice addition to that area because, like I said, the closest Barnes & Noble was 40 minutes away. Um, yeah, it was fun exploring with the kids. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!